Hey guys, so today we're going to be learning about cross sections. And although they may seem very difficult, they're actually pretty easy. Today, as our human guinea pig, we are going to be using grenade, Irene grenade. So here we have a basic problem of cross sections. Find the volume of the solid created by square cross sections to the function x squared plus y squared equals 4. As we know, x squared plus y squared equals 4 creates a perfect circle on the x on the graph. Finding the cross section to find the cross section first you need to isolate the y variable. So you have y squared equals 4 minus x squared when you move x squared to the other side. Then you take the square root of both sides. However, you always remember to keep the plus and minus due to the fact that you have a top and a bottom. So to find the volume of the solid created by the square cross section, you have to take the integral from negative 2 to 2, which are the boundaries of the circle, and you take the function, which in this case would be radical 4 minus x squared, and you square it due to the area of the square cross section, times dx, which is the width. Plus, again, the integral from negative 2 to 2 of the function again, but this time negative due to the fact that there's a bottom side of the circle of 4 minus x squared, all squared again dx. So the cool thing about this function is that we have a radical and a square in both sides, so therefore they would cancel each other out. So you would be left off with 2 times the integral of negative 2 times uh, negative 2 to 2 of 4 minus x squared quantity dx. Now here is basic integration. Of course we know the integral of 4 would be 4x and the integral of x squared would be x cubed over 3 all evaluated from negative 2 to 2 all times 2. So here now we have just basic evaluation and plugging in of the numbers. So you would have 2 times 4 times 2 minus 2 cubed over 3 minus the lower bound, which would be 4 times negative 2 minus negative 2 cubed over 3. So after taking the basic integral, all you have to do is evaluation. Just plug in the upper and lower bounds, as you can see here, into the equation. You're going to get 8 minus 8 over 3 minus negative 8 plus 8 over 3. You evaluate that and you get 24 minus 8 over 3 plus 24 minus 8 over 3 times 2, which would equal to 2 times 32 over 3. Your final answer, answer should be 64 over 3. For our second problem, we are going to find the volume of the solid created by a semicircle cross section of the area bounded by y equals x squared and y equals 4. So this is the graph, and in order to solve this problem, we need to know the formula a equals pi over 2 r squared, which is for the semicircle, and to find r, we do top minus bottom of these functions. So y equals 4 is above x squared, so it would be 4 minus x squared. And we need to use integration to solve this. So as we can see, the interception points are at negative 2 and 2, so that will be your limits for your intervals. And we put pi over 2 in the front because of the formula of pi over 2 r squared. And we leave it like this. Now we just plug in r, which was 4 minus x squared. And what you can do 
is because this is an even function and from negative to zero and zero to two have the same area, we can multiply this integral by two and change its limits to two to zero, which will simplify your work a lot. Then we will just simplify. And then from here, we just integrate. Now we're going to integrate. So it'll be pi 16x minus 8x cubed over 3 plus x to the power of 5 over 5 2 to 0. Now we plug in our x values. Should be 16 times 2 minus 8 2 cubed over 3 plus 2 to the power of 5 over 5 and because there's x's in every term we can just say that's 0 and then we simplify further which would be pi 32 minus 64 over 3 plus 24 over no, 32 over 5. Then I factor out an 8, which would leave you with 4 minus 8 over 3 plus 4 over 5 which will give you an answer of 256 over 15 pi. And that is the volume of a cross-section.